things that it, when we talk about the concept in football, when I always say that the job requirements of a head coach are different than offensive guru, some people are able to lead and learn how to lead, and some people can't. Pedro strikes me as someone who, in a vacuum, or maybe in a smaller group or individuals, does fine with leading or teaching. Overall, he is a terrible ambassador for White Sox baseball. He's a true ambassador for, like, he is an avatar for what White Sox baseball is right now. Bad and weird. <laughs> but I can't, um, if you're, if you're Jerry Reinsdorf and you're paying attention at all to your manager and you're hearing some of the gibberish that comes out of his mouth, how can you allow him to stay the manager of the White Sox? I, seriously, like, real talk. Like, how? Everything is so odd. Like, there's nothing just... Why can't he just be normal? I don't know. Like, we were looking... with The stuff about the eclipse yesterday, like, he refuses to admit he's aware of or will watch an eclipse because it's not about baseball. It's like, what What are you... What role are you playing? What cosplay is this? I, I'm not sure. I just know that in reading his quotes from it, it was bizarre. Like, what... It, um, especially since you were at the, the epicenter of this, that Cleveland moved their game around this. It was a huge international event, and especially in the United States, where you had all of the opportunities for totality, to see something that you're not going to probably see ever again. And his... I think that he's he's watched too many sports movies. I didn't think that that would be the diagnosis. Because he, he tries to come off as like, I'll, I'll give you, this is from Anthony Castrovince. He works for MLB.com. He's done it for a long time. Really, really good baseball reporter. He wrote, White Sox manager Pedro Grafol here in Cleveland in the path of totality for the last total solar eclipse in the contiguous United States until 2044. And he will not be viewing it. In fact, he was pretty adamant about it. Quote, I'll see videos of it, but there's baseball. Close quote. What? You have six months of baseball here. Chill out. And there can still be baseball. Cleveland went out and enjoyed the eclipse before the game, as did most of the White Sox players. Huh, and who won that game? Cleveland wow. won that game. And they so they looked at the eclipse and they won the game, huh? How's yeah, that the the eclipse had no effect on the game, and it wasn't going to have an effect on the game. The question is, why is Pedro so strange about stuff like this? I don't know. I, I, what does he, what does he think he's supposed to be? Is my question. And, and I, that's why I mean he he's watched too many sports movies. Well, here's this was Griffol. I'm just let me just read this and sort of present this. Okay. Daryl Van Scowen had a quote from Pedro Griffol after the game on being one and nine. This is Griffol. Quote We have 152 games left. The record's not good. You can't hide from the record. It's not good. But how are you not good? going to stay in a good place mentally when you've got 152 games left. If you're not in a good place mentally, you're going to have a long season. It's 152 games left. If we're going to let the record beat us down, it's going to be a long year. But I'm not there. They had good work today. They were prepared to play. We didn't execute. That's him saying, not my fault. Yeah. But you you said... 152 games left three times. You're the one establishing the number of games left. And not to talk about the record. I understand where he's coming from because he, he's basically saying that it's a long season. It's it, I'm not mad at him for that. Okay? Right. 
I'm I'm mad at him because he doesn't seem to just you know how sometimes I tell you just be a dude? Like just just be a dude, man. Like that's all you need to do. Here's here's more from Pedro on the eclipse. I'm not going to watch it. It doesn't interest me that much. I'll watch videos of it to see what it looks like. I probably shouldn't say that because, you know, family in baseball. People don't huh? believe it, but I believe it. I haven't heard any of that. I didn't hear all of it. I heard a lot about most of it, but what I did hear, I did not hear any of that. I live it, and that's all that matters. What does that even mean? Baseball, family, when you focus on those two things, there's no room for an eclipse, Lawrence. How could you possibly even take any time out of your day to look at the eclipse, I guess? And then he went and looked at the eclipse. And then he did it anyway. Yeah. And somehow like, that made you less likely to win a baseball game? Like, Come on. Why? Like, what a weird thing to be dug in about. And, and <laughs> even, even something as simple as a timeline for Luis Robert returning. To check, check this out. Now, you know, I know there's some rumors out there, you know, people putting dates and, you know, you know, date of return or that. I mean, that's that's nonsense, in my opinion. Um, you know, I said it yesterday and I'll repeat it again today and I probably won't talk about it anymore. And, you know, he's a, a premium athlete that prepares extremely well. His body heals really well um, because of the preparation in the off season um, to put a, a, a date a certain date of complete recovery. Buckle up, we got 30 um, more seconds. It's not in our best interest, and it's certainly not in, in anybody's best interest to do that, because this guy, you know, he, he wants to get back on the field, and when players have that drive to get back on the field and, and that passion to to play this game, things happen a little quicker than, than normal, you know? And just watching the way, you know, he came in yesterday, he got on the bike a little bit, and he's moving around, and then they start, you know, all those treatments when we get back to Chicago. I mean, who knows? No, I, I'm not. I mean, we're not. We're not in the business to business of forecasting, you know, when premium athletes can get back on the field. Yes. Oh my God! I don't care. Yes, what are we, you are. Yeah, you are. What are we doing here? How many? What? I don't care what sport it is. Injury, <laughs> diagnosis, <laughs> prognosis. This isn't hard. I don't care whether you're a professional athlete or not. You go to a doctor. The doctor looks over the imaging and says, in four weeks, I want you here. In six weeks, I want you here. And I want you doing this in eight weeks. You'll talk to the therapist. And obviously, things can change. But this is based on what we know. And everything he's saying about this particular athlete it, is wrong. It's it literally the same injury that he had before. Yeah. Uh... Did you guys... Something piqued my curiosity when you read the uh, Pedro quote, Lawrence, and it was, I wonder what Cleveland Guardians manager said about the eclipse. Like, because it has to be way more normal, right? <laughs> was it less normal? No, it was It was absolutely way more normal. And Stephen Voigt, I think is how Vote. you... Vote. Vote. Yes. That's how you pronounce his name? The old catcher. Th this is what he had to say about the eclipse. I thought it was really cool. What blew my mind was how dark it got. Not necessarily the sun... That was pretty cool to see, but just how dark and cold it got. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. What a regular-ass comment. <laughs> Correct! Yes, because he, he's just being normal. He, like, it feels like Pedro is always playing defense on questions, and he's doing it so much that even a question as simple as, Hey, uh, you gonna watch the eclipse? N no! Baseball and family. Why are you asking me that? What? Huh? I was just asking about the eclipse. In, in that very normal comment from the Cleveland Guardians manager, I heard nothing about baseball or family. You know what it reminds me of? Do you remember this? I'm concentrating on baseball and family, and I can't do that if I look up for two minutes at an eclipse. You remember in, in the, the horrible movie Field of Dreams? It's terrible. It says, Unwatchable. What, what do you want? What do I want, Ray? If you build it, they will come. I want people to stop coming to me for answers. I want people to think for themselves for a change. It's like, n no. W what do you want? You seen that movie? Dog and a beer. It's like, it, it's, it, there's a whole Pedro, like, sir, this is an Arby's thing going on. Yes. It's so... You don't have to be defensive about that question. It's just like, hey, uh, hey, man. 
How you doing? And even with Check the the, the question Just about Roberts, you can go, you know, our, our trainers are giving us a timeline. We are hopeful that he makes it back before that. And we're then you, all, yeah, you we're make all it, rooting for Luis. All of a sudden, you make it sound like the idea of a timeline is an affront to you. Oh, there's a bunch of people out there saying things about how long it's going to be. Yeah, they're, they're called doctors. And that's what they've told the patient. And this is crazy, but he's your best player, and people want to know when he's going to be back. I don't know. This is going to get really... If we're already at this, you know what I mean? Like, there's 100, 152 games left, and he's in full shields up defense mode over small talk. Simple small talk. What do you mean? Why are you asking about the eclipse? I'm not going to watch it.